am I really filming another video on the same day in the same outfit and makeup as the last two videos? The answer is yes. My name is Julie. I am a full-time intern and student this semester in my last semester of grad school, pursuing my master's in counseling psychology, and I'll be graduating in May, which is super exciting. So moving on, I'm finally doing a music video. I am planning to do a top five favorite bands for my next video, but I love water parks, as you saw from my intro if you watched it, they are my favorite band. I have their merch on now, this is Dream Boy from their newest album Fandom, which I love with all my heart. So off the cuff, I just want to film why water parks has become my favorite band. So originally my favorite bands were Panic at the Disco and All Time Low, which emo kid, right? Um, and then John from ERTV and his girlfriend Infinity on Hannah made a few videos reviewing and recommending Water Parks' music, especially the album Double Dare, and I was hooked. I loved it so much. I loved their sound. Um, I would classify them somewhat, somewhat as a pop rock band. Sometimes they have pop punk elements, but I would not go as far as to call them pop punk, and I think pop punkers would be really mad if I did. I love Austin Knight. I think his social media presence can be annoying but wonderful. I think that he is just such a refreshing person in the spotlight to have in a band because he's not someone that parties. He's talked about it in music, how it's not his thing, and I'm not fully educated on his history but I really respect that, especially since he has a teen audience and I feel like he can be a good role model for that. Of course, he's not perfect and there's things that he has done or talked about that I don't think are problematic in any way and cancel culture mm -mm. um but yeah austin just seems like a lovely caring dude he interacts so nicely with his fans and he does try to notice them as much as he can although i do empathize with the guy because he does talk in fandom about how people are like can you follow me back because it's my birthday and he's like what about what he wants and that's very fair i mean he needs to obviously do self-care and put so much into us where he can or where he wants to but set boundaries for himself but obviously austin that is up to austin so jeff oh jeff is adorable and wonderful and he has an adorable child of his own now which is great and he has such a nice social media presence he's just so kind and warm and lovely and excited to be in water parks and he really cares about austin they're really good friends and you know, I just love the relationship that Austin, Jeff, and Otto have. I actually respect that Otto doesn't have social media. I didn't have social media for a couple of years, and I can understand since he's in the spotlight that he doesn't want that kind of attention sometimes, especially since he has a girlfriend. And um, it's nice though, because since she's on social media, she can interact with his fans and relay messages to him and things. But I do respect his boundary that he is not on there, although he is just. A pleasure. I would say Water Parks became my favorite band last year. I could not stop listening to them. I was listening to them repeatedly. I loved entertainment. I know reviews for entertainment weren't as strong as for Double Dare um, because it was more pop leaning, but I loved that. I have been gravitating away from heavier music like metalcore and whatnot. I still enjoy it, but I'm gravitating more to, more toward this pop rock, rock genre that Water Parks absolutely, I would argue, falls into. I love that the band covers mental health. Um, I would love to do a whole video on that. I took notes on this a while ago and it was way too long because there I was quoting specific lyrics that all tie into it. And Austin, um, I saw that he liked a tweet the other day about like protecting LGBT kids and stuff. And some fan was like, yay, Austin. <laughs> but you know what? I give him credit for that. I love that he liked something and it showed up on everyone's feed to show that he cares about that community because I'm sure there are plenty of Parks fans um, with gender identity and sexuality preferences and whatnot. I also love the whole aesthetic of water parks. I love that they call themselves God's favorite boy band. I wouldn't call them Five Seconds of Summer exactly, but they are somewhat a boy band. I mean, they just have those close relationships with each other, which, you know, are so wonderful and I just enjoy the whole aesthetic. I think back in the day, we as seen in Emo Kids would have been swooning over this band. And it's so funny because Austin obviously was a little emo kid back in the day. There are plenty of cute little pictures of that online. I love them just smiling while I'm talking about Austin because he's so great. 
he just really is. Um, I love that he's friends with Crank That Frank now. So yeah, it's just a brief overview. Um, fandom is amazing. I It has helped my mental health so much because when I'm distressed, I just put it on and I know the whole thing. And every time I put Cherry Red on, it's so empowering. I feel like it's kind of one of my songs, not just because of the red hair, but just how intensely it starts. Like every time it goes, and then it goes, boom, I'm always like, <laughs> and I get really excited, um, which is so cool. I love singing along to their music, even though I'm not the most talented at it. And I just have such a high respect for water parks and what they do. I find their lyrics to be so creative and Austin to just be a very unique individual, which I always gravitate toward artists like that. Although I'm sure many of them are, but especially in this kind of alternative genre. And I loved that um, Water Parks toured with All Time Low as well. I also saw Water Parks live and I was blown away. I love how Austin interacts with his fans. I love that he does different things at different shows, although he keeps the set list the same. It's never boring seeing them in a show. Jeff came over to Barricade where I was in the corner, is playing guitar and smiling, which was really cool. Um, John tapped me on the shoulder and said, excuse me, I'm like, go ahead, John, <laughs> as if he has any idea who I am. Um, and I love their relationship with John, their photographer as well. He seems like a really cool guy. Um, I'm also part of a water parks fan group on Facebook. I haven't participated in it all that much. I know there can be some issues with water parks fans, but I haven't seen them extend on there that much and I've mostly had pleasant experiences. So I'm really grateful for that and I hope along the way I can meet some more water parks fans so we can talk about the band and bond and stuff. Just preferably it would be nice to find some in my 20s. I know you're out there. I've talked to some of you there's going to be more of us. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed filming this video and like and subscribe if you want. I would love to have you as a subscriber on my channel. Please leave a comment if you would like as long as it comes from a kind place and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye guys!